I've always loved the work of Modigliani, and his work has been my, uh, an inspiration to me from the beginning. Of course, uh, Picasso and some of those uh, late uh, 19th century, early 19th century artists, 20th century artists are really inspirations too. But I like the old stuff too as well. True joy for me in painting is just being in front of a canvas working the paint. It, is, it has to do with applying the paint and uh, mixing the paint and, uh, and, and a then actually doing it. So if I'm doing lemons or I'm doing a landscape or I'm doing a pig, it doesn't, you know, it's all, it's all fun. I mean, I, I, I love doing this, so it's, it's part of my heart. I've learned more in the last uh, two years since I joined this uh, Studio Products Forum, it's called Sanini uh, Products, uh, which it, all my paints are handmade by them. And uh, it's really interesting because it's the only place on the internet, only place in the world that I've found that truly teaches you how to paint with a group of like-minded artists. Sanini was an artist, and uh, that's what they call their products, is C-E-N-N-I-N-I. And they do it the old way. They, you know, they make mediums, they make paint, they make turpentine, tr triple distilled. Now they have art schools that don't even have turpentine. It's the most insane thing I've ever heard. And I, yes, I do use lead paint. Uh, people used to say, well, you got to put a lot of medium into a paint. Uh, to your paints, you don't put much medium at all in the paints, but what you might want to do is wipe your canvas down with the medium and then paint into the medium. And you also uh, use uh, some pumice or something to scratch it up a little bit if it's uh, been uh, painted and it's dry. A painting is a lot different than sculpture. I mean, oh my gosh, if you're doing sculpture, uh, you have two or three checkpoints where I will take pictures, set up my sculpture, take pictures, compare it to my actual design, and put it on the computer, and then uh, bring my uh, photograph of the stone up and over my drawing to be sure everything's in the right place, and then continue from there. I believe that uh, the art education today, uh, in the context of um, you know really teaching the basics, is uh, is a lost. It's a lost education. It takes about two years to really understand what you're doing in art. And it's only taken me 40. <laughs> but uh, once you learn it, uh, then you apply it. And I think that's where I am right now. I'm, I feel like I'm finally learning how to paint. Critical thought is, uh, is not taught. It's a perfect example because if it was, there would be a direct correlation between doing art and making money. I mean, if you could see the big picture and teach somebody how to think in the context of what has to be done, then you'd be able to figure that out. But uh, it's just not taught. I mean, it, it, it's, it's something that you would get in philosophy maybe. Uh, you know, and, and even then, you're, you know, the context of critical thought isn't applied, it's just the idea of it. It's amazing.